The relentlessness of COVID-19 and the associated border closure measures have greatly affected the economy and society of Latin America and the Caribbean, resulting in the difficult situations faced by micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. In particular, service industries such as tourism, retail and food and accommodation have suffered the most brutal hits. The pandemic has not only drastically decreased employment opportunities and income for women, but also forced women to take on more household responsibilities. In Latin America and the Caribbean, women who lost their jobs due to the pandemic and lack education and employability are now very much in need of developing new career skills or opening micro or small businesses to maintain their family livelihoods. However, Due to risk considerations, financial institutions are often uninterested in these new clients. Therefore, women intending to start businesses do not receive financing in time, demonstrating the problem of insufficient financial inclusiveness. In some countries, the interests of economically disadvantaged groups, such as women and youths, have received insufficient attention and are in dire need of supportive voices in society, and international advocacy. To assist our allied countries in boosting their post-pandemic recovery, strengthening women's economic empowerment, and maintaining social stability, the Taiwan ICDF focuses on our eight allied states in Latin America and the Caribbean to promote large-scale cross-regional projects. These projects integrate the three major axes technical assistance for women's employment and entrepreneurship, financial services and credit guarantees, and cooperation with like-minded countries to promote international advocacy for women's empowerment. Regarding technical assistance for women's employment and entrepreneurship, the Taiwan ICDF has guided the upgrading of local vocational training institutions, enlarged training sites, strengthened the capabilities of sea teachers, and collaborated to set up special vocational programs which improve women's employment skills and training. We also support startups by cooperating with local incubators to set up training programs, offering angel funds and holding contests, thereby encouraging women to devote their time to micro, small and medium enterprises and to enlarge the scale of their startups. Esta experiencia es muy, muy buena. Hemos aprendido a, a, hay un lema que dijeron en la Ciudad Mujer que es eh, emprender para crecer. Y creo que todas las que estamos aquí queremos eh, montar un negocio o algunas ya lo tenemos. Moreover, we offer operations management, business consultancy and relief packages to micro, small and medium enterprises with management difficulties to help them get through the tough times of the pandemic. The training will build a network of Maya women entrepreneurs who produce high quality, innovative items that will be marketed through Belize's first Maya created and controlled brand, Sheil. With your support, Sheil grew stronger in its business skills, increased the skills and incomes of Maya women entrepreneurs, and widened its market reputation. In terms of financial services and credit guarantees, through our projects assisting allied countries, we plan and promote credit guarantee mechanisms and project loans devoted solely to women, and support local institutions in offering women the funds they need to establish and operate their businesses. For women's empowerment, we cooperate with international organizations and local groups, conducting workshops and seminars that promote mutual exchange boosting our execution and promoting issues of women's empowerment. In addition, we are expanding our communication efforts to promote the results of this project so that we attract further investment from the public and private sectors and deepen the sustainability of the project. This program has opened doors for women such as myself so that I could be part of the development process so that I could contribute meaningfully to my household to the community and the country as a whole. This project, lasting one year and five months, will inject new energy into these women who are the pillars of a stable society. In the future, 
the Taiwan ICBF will continue to build on these foundations through various projects that bring prosperity to people from cooperating countries and hope to their lives.